Welcome to our new TV show, the best emission where we talk about science. And if I tell you that I don't care. So I hope it wasn't too difficult to understand. I love talking about my success in the scientific world. I have one question. What is light? Light is a particle. What is happening? No, it isn't. I just proved to you, the light is a wave. Welcome to the Inception Show, the best emission where we talk about science. Uh, I'm, I'm John Clark and our main topic today is the death of plastic. You probably heard about the problem with plastic and you probably know that a lot of associations want to stop the production of plastic. We are now going to explain everything about it. So in 2018, uh, the world plastic production, which is 360 million tons, and some people believe this number will nearly double by 2030. Experts estimate that over 100,000 marine animals die uh, each year because of the plastic ingestions. Uh, so, uh, our um, correspondent Cameron Andrews is currently in Thailand. So, hi Cameron Andrews. So, can you explain? Uh, can, no, sorry, can you tell us where are you and what have you seen and learned? Hi John Clark. So, I am in Thailand and I'm currently facing to a beach which is covered by lots of plastic. It's very spectacular and I can't even imagine the quantity of all these wastes. So, yeah, I learned a couple of things here, and I would like to share this new knowledge with you. When a plastic reaches the environment, it disintegrates itself and becomes microplastic, which are eaten by marine animals. The problem is that we eat them, so we eat the plastic that they are slow swallowed and we deteriorate our health. You could say that we should clean oceans and the problem is solved. But once the plastic is in the ocean, it's almost impossible to get it back. Even with projects like Ocean Cleanup. Indeed, this company had the idea to clean up oceans with a, with a tube of 600 meters and get back the floating plastics. But the tube tore and the device wasn't effective but they are still trying to find solutions and make it work. Plastic swim everywhere in the ocean, even in the Arctic Peninsula, and the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest trench of the Earth. 
we get back to the microplastics. Microbes are little particles of plastic with a diameter inferior to 5 mm. They are in several cosmetic products. They give the texture to toothpaste or show jar. Wash or brush your teeth, throw thousands of microbes into the environment. It, it is fortunate that some countries ban microbes, like France, that have obligated company to doesn't use it anymore since January 2018. Thank you, Cameron and Rose. Uh, you could think that you already recycled your, um, your plastics and you don't understand the situation. So I will explain how a recycling center works. In 2012, in France, 573 kilograms of household waste are produced per resident. Since 2000, this number decreases. The recycling industry represents 130,000 employment in France. Uh, this sector produces energy and uh, replacement materials. Um, it economizes 21 million tons of CO2 per year, 17.5 million tons of recycling materials were reused, and there is still a loss of uh, 2.5 million tons. France retries uh, energy from 34% uh, of local trade waste, unlike Finland or Denmark, for example, uh, where this number is above 50%. France isn't good at this kind of stuff, and uh, in uh, this country is uh, one of the worst of the European Union for the treatment of plastic waste. More than 25% of plastic waste were recycled in 2016, according to a report of an organization called uh, Plastics Europe. On 30 countries, uh, France is 29th on recycling rate of plastic wrapping, which is just above the obligatory limit. Moreover, the global plastic production has increased by 40% in 11 years between 2006 and 2017. But what can we do to improve this result and is there any alternative to the plastic? Amanda Fisher interviewed a French scientist to answer those questions. Hi Diamond Ferry, what is for you one of the things that people must do for the environment? People must stop doing shopping with a single-use plastic bag because they are used a few minutes in the shopping center, but the process of deterioration lasts hundreds of years and causes big damage for the to the biodiversity. Okay, but does it exist an alternative to plastic bag? Yes, there is. One of my chemist colleagues, Adam Fierbeck from the University of Illinois, creates a new plastic that could be the next generation of polymers. This plastic is made by eating like regular plastic. The definitive feature of this plastic is when you put it under the white light. In a few minutes, the half of it falls on the ground into little pieces. So if we develop some polymers which the capacity of disintegrating itself is other, we can replace the current plastic bag by a new generation of plastic that we can recycle easily. You use the word polymers, but I don't really understand what it is. Polymers are molecules with a very high molecular weight, which are usually organic or half-organic molecules. Polymers are made of macromolecules that are a long chain of atoms linked by covalent bonds. The chain covers 5,000 atoms in general. Thus, starch of protein are polymers. For example, thermoplastic and elastomer, elastomer are made of polymers. What is the main characteristic of polymers? Polymers may are liquid or solid at ambient temperature. Generally, they are light and flexible. Most polymers are electrical insulators. Sooner, you talked about thermoplastic. Could you explain the functioning of this category of polymers? Thermoplastic melts when it's exposed 
to eat like the eyes. The advantage is that we can give to it the form that we want with temperature between 80 and 300 degrees. There is also the family to eat hardening. They become hard when I eat. It's used for glue or paint, but also resin. Thank you. We now understand more things about polymers. You're welcome. So now Amanda Fisher will present some solutions for the problem of plastic pollution. Thanks, Sean. So we know that plastic in ocean are a disaster. To reduce the quantity of plastic discharge, you can put pressure on, on the government of your city for better equipment on recycling of plastic. You can also reduce the buying of plastic wrapping when you do the shopping. Industries can also invest to the development of a system which limits the need of plastic during the production and thus reduce the plastic of the products. Finally, citizen, you can participate to initiatives around you for cleaning rivers, streets or beach. So, thank you Amanda, this was uh, interesting. Uh, I'm tired of this fucking TV. You aren't even concerned uh, by this problem. You just want audience, yeah, more audience. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. So, see you after the tizing. And I'm an honest citizen just like you. If, you. if you ask yourself why I've got a mask, it's because TV do things to me you can't even imagine. You should know that TV isn't good for, for you. Have you noticed that journalists don't care about the planet? They just want audience, audience and more audience. I hate this mentality and that's why we have to end with this disastrous media system. TV is a dark world, you know? They see you just like money. For them, you're just a part of their profits. Don't, don't think their priority is to inform you. They just want you to watch their emission. But I have good news for you. I can help you to save this magnificent world. If everyone puts some effort in it, I'm sure our children will live in a better world. There is just one tiny problem. Medias. That's why I've decided to end with medias. Join me and help me to keep our beloved world in a good heat, or let it die and live with blood on your hands. Bye bye!